Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to wish you guys a very prosperous, successful uh, 2018. Remember, intentions is everything. So put your intentions, make sure to be crystal clear on what you're wanting to bring forth for 2018. Sending you guys light and love as always. Now let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for my beautiful Scorpios for the month of January 2018. Feels so weird saying 2018. Sometimes I have to like stop and wonder. <laughs> Wait, was it 2017 or 18th? Yes, it's 2018. Woohoo! Let's see how Scorpios are going to be kicking off the month. All right. Alrighty. First card, Scorpio. You have the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Moon card, the Nine of Swords, the Two of Swords. Wow, a lot of Swords energy. Four of Pentacles, the Tower card, the Hermit, the Six of Wands, And general energies is the Knight of Wands. All right, Scorpios, the Knight of Wands definitely brings a very charged energy. I feel this is your energy going into January. You guys are very, um, very, you guys are very passionate and very intense about the pursuits that you're wanting to achieve for this month, for 2018. It's almost like you guys have been focusing probably all through the month of December. There was a transition happening and you're finally being able to get clarity in regards to what you're wanting and moving forward in a very quick, almost hasty type of uh, type of energy. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing or communicating with the fire sign, which would be a Sagittarius Leo or an Aries. Uh, this could be a little bit of an immature type of energy. So just be careful not to be very impulsive or to make rash, irrational decisions based off of your emotions, okay? Now, let's get into your reading. You have the Queen of uh, Cups. This could be your energy, Scorpio. Um, it is a water energy. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, you guys are very contemplative on what you're wanting in regards to your finances. You have the Eight of Pentacles next to it. So for some of you guys, you guys are going to start to notice a very quick movement in, your work, uh, in the workforce or with your finances, um, it's almost like you're really putting, I see you guys very dedicated to mastering the art or the craft of what you do. For some of you guys that are in sales, this is you being very determined. Uh, and this is the night is definitely the energy of very focused, wanting to achieve a certain amount or a certain type of commission. And you're very forceful with that, but very passionate about it. Nonetheless, you do have the Knight of swords here and the Knight of swords is definitely a forceful type of energy. Uh, I feel that for some of you Scorpios, you're going to be dealing with a bit of immature type of energies for the month of January. The Knight of Swords could represent an air sign. So an air sign would be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Again, like I said, this is a forceful energy and almost a hothead, I want to say. For some of you guys, this could be actually your energy. And you're being very quick to react to certain things that just give you this bad type of energy or this bad vibe. You do have the moon card next to it. So again, for some of you guys, it could be that either uh, there is communication um, through social media, uh, something that triggers you or that bothers you. But at the present time, it's necessary for us to go within ourselves and to ask ourselves, do, what does it really affect us? Why are we so upset or why uh, is there certain things that people do that triggers us to get to a point of really, you know, a bit of confusion I see because the moon card is all about the hidden but it can also uh, speak about confusion in regards to the four of pentacles which the four of pentacles is you protecting your heart or keeping your guard up you do have the two of swords here and the two of swords is not wanting to make movement or being stuck in regards to the mental you have the nine of swords here so for a lot of you guys there's a lot of um uncertainties in regards to relationships for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship perhaps this is you being very forceful very blunt uh, very quick to anger with your partner because you feel like perhaps they're keeping something from you 
the nine of swords is a very mental energy and this is talking about anxieties um and just feeling stuck not being able to move forward but it's a mental energy so i feel that for some of you guys you guys are starting to experience um again like i said a lot of anxiety in regards to something that has to do with doubts in regards to your relationship you do have the two of swords here and this is you making a choice to be stuck or making a choice to protect yourself and not be completely honest or completely open with your partner um and i feel that it has something to do with the fact that you're fearing or expecting the worst you do have the tower here next to the hermit so for a lot of you guys it's going to be unexpected um unexpected endings in the relationship uh the tower is always something sudden and something quick but being reflected next to the hermit know and understand that there is you're being guided uh if this relationship is not working for you you're going to be guided um towards the right path uh for a lot of uh, you know a lot of the times we remain in a relationship longer than we should have and it has a lot to do with again sometimes we just want to hold on to for dear life um because we're afraid to be alone or because we're afraid um, or complacent, I should say, and we're afraid that uh, perhaps we're not going to find someone else. Nonetheless, if this hasn't been working out for you, the tower's here to remind you that whether you're ready or not, expect um, expect endings and um, expect endings and expect uh, expect sudden uh, changes that are coming about. But the hermit to me is definitely talking about your spirit guides or uh, being spiritually advised or guided through this process. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been that you recently found out uh, perhaps a relative or a family member was keeping things from you. Uh, again, like I said, it could represent partners. I feel that this has more to do with love than family, but nonetheless, it could reflect or have something to do with the family dynamic. Uh, the tower next to the hermit card again like i said you're going to be guided and it's almost like getting to the point of being able to see light at the end of the tunnel uh for some of you guys if you are currently in a relationship uh, something may trigger where you find out uh, certain things that have been hidden that your partner has in fact been keeping from you and that's where um in the third week of january there is a need to really go within yourself and analyze if this relationship is even worth uh, putting the effort and moving forward or is it necessary for you to end this relationship because it's not helping you in a positive aspect nonetheless you do end the month of january in a very positive note feeling like you've overpowered um, overcame uh, you know successful type of energy the six of wands is always getting accolades uh, people really patting you in the back for a job well done for some of you guys uh it could be this this destruction or this um sudden quick movement could have to do something with work so perhaps if there is a person that you've been uh, dealing with at work a co-worker someone that everyone thought was pretty much untouchable because they felt like they were guarded or they felt like um you know they were the kiss ass quote unquote uh of the boss or a favorite um it could be that they actually get cut or they get fired and it's something very unexpected nonetheless it brings light to you because it does put you in a position of having to step up your game but with stepping up your game you're also receiving again like i said the accolades and people letting you know of a job well done so again this is a positive um you know again like i said that quick sudden um ending nonetheless it's going to be to the best of your interest because it's spirit guiding you if you felt like you've been overlooked at work or you put more effort than anyone else and it just hasn't people haven't noticed i definitely do see that happening for the month of january okay so this is definitely a positive thing again like i said the tower could be a bit negative but only the card surrounding it the only negative i see is the nine of swords but i feel that this is a mental card um and again like i said for some it could represent actually getting the ending of work the ending of a cycle and someone getting cut but i feel that this has nothing to do with you scorpio this has more to do with the people surrounding you okay now in regards to love and romance again like i said there is feelings about hidden agendas 
or things being kept from you and things do come out to the light i see that happening in the second week going into the third week of this uh, sorry of january nonetheless when this happens it could be something um almost like if your partner has been keeping things from you uh not in regards to like cheating or anything like that but more so in regards to um uh, allowing them to or allowing you to think a certain way of them it's like their true character comes to light and it will be tested in the month of january so just know and understand that okay so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this reading light and love to all of you guys and i truly hope again like i said sending you guys positive energy and wishing you guys success in all your endeavors light and love and we will see each other at the end of the month okay bye